Hey, Corvo. It's Samuel. I'm here. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty bosh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Ah, și dragul meu. Oh, this is a fucking sexy lady. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Yeah, sure. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. زين الحين مرتاحين في المدينة ردينا يا اخي في مكان ابديت قال هذا ولا مو هو اللي سوى ابجريد هذا تعال يا حبيبي يس yes. وانك تسوي لنا ابجريد حال السلاح هذا This is in here. Okay. Quite right. In any case, we won't get the Lord Root. You did it. Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. 
لا صويب ما شاء الله عليك تحداني يعني waiting to reveal her to step out as the hero and further cement his regency if he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the empress yes time is against us but now you should take a well earned rest gorm we will decipher the contents of the high journal and share them with you later and sleep تقول ناو الحمد لله ردينا من متاهات السيتي هذاك والله يا سدو مفتاح كل طلع كان فاضي شو هذا بعد I went through the books this morning and found five mistakes you've made. Five mistakes. What kind of mistake? You're lucky I found them before the admiral did. It was a milkmaid who started it. She took ill one morning after her It's a nice old pub. These beds have seen quite a bit of use, I can tell you. Hello, Corvo. Hello. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper. There's no hope. This guy is so boring. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating. Just to be sure it's not a nosy guard. Here's a key to the house. I tend a servant down there, but they die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Okay, let's do it. Good luck, Said. I think I have to save here. Nice. Let's go.
I need this. Absolutely nice. Who is this? You went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Really? Officer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. 